Hi, I'm Dr. Chung from the Chung Institute. Today I'd like to teach you a special technique by which you can markedly improve your chance of success putting an IV catheter. Here is a picture of a typical IV catheter needle unit. When one places an IV catheter, one must manage to insert both the needle and the plastic catheter into the vein before one then slides in the catheter portion over the needle shaft. Note that the needle is significantly longer than the plastic catheter. Herein lies the great challenge. One must somehow insert both the needle tip and the plastic catheter a good 3 to 5 millimeters into the vein without rupturing the back wall. In the standard technique, when one inserts the IV catheter unit, the instant that the needle tip enters the vein, there is a blood flash that appears at the proximal portion of the needle. Unfortunately, the catheter portion may not have yet entered the vein at this time. If the practitioner then tries to slide the plastic catheter before it has entered the vein, there is a greater chance either of rupturing the vein or the tip of the needle popping out of the vein. If the practitioner inserts the entire unit deeper in an attempt to insert the plastic portion of the catheter, he or she risks puncturing the back wall of the vein. In our method, one inserts the catheter unit in the same manner, but as soon as the flash is noted in the proximal portion of the needle, one immediately lifts up the needle tip while simultaneously slowly inserting the entire catheter unit. This places the sharp tip of the needle as far away from the back wall of the vessel and also aligns the axis of the vein with the axis of the catheter unit. Once the catheter and needle are well within the vein by several millimeters, one can gently advance the catheter forward over the needle into the vein. I'd like to now demonstrate how to put in the IV. Ideally, when you put the IV in, uh, if the upper body is raised at an angle, it puts greater um, venous pressure and you'll get the veins to stand out a little more. So that's why I have her laying down but raised a little bit on the upper part. So, now, if an IV was to be placed for a long time, then this area is the best place to, to put the IV because then they can move their wrist and their forearm. Today, I'm going to demonstrate it on the hand mainly because on the video, you can see the vein so well on this patient, okay? I find if you tap it, makes the vein stand out more kind of releases uh, all the, even veins have a little bit of smooth muscle on them so they can, they will constrict. By tapping, you will make the vein stand out as you can see. I'm gonna wipe the area with some alcohol. Now, first again, uh, you can see that the plastic part of the catheter is shorter than the needle and you got to get all of this portion in before you start trying to advance. The second thing is I always have it bevel up so we're gonna have the bevel up. I anchor the vein down. Now the most important part I kind of raise it up a little I'm not in the vein yet. Now I got the flash now I can lift up quite a bit see I'm still going in and I can keep going in. Now I'm about a good half centimeter and I can slide this in. Now I want to show you that this catheter is well in because I'm going to let it go. See that? So we know we're well in. I'm going to release the tourniquet. Right now I'm injecting uh, a little bit of saline just to show that it's flowing nicely see um, put it in see it comes back out so we're, we're really good now this is demonstration that the bevel side of the needle is quite dull and what the, my assistant is doing she's actually pressing on the surface with the needle and you can see that what she's doing is this is right on a piece of paper and it does not catch one bit now turn the other way and just push a little bit what happens, she gets stuck immediately. The point that I want to make is that that side of the bevel is very dull. 
and if it is sitting on a vein you can actually put a lot of pressure on this side and you will not do any damage when you're on the other side it just gets stuck immediately again remember the trick to this technique is right after the flash you must lift up the needle tip and then insert about three millimeters in once the whole unit is in you can then slide in the plastic catheter safely.